$14 5 feet TV. It's a vertical, put enough radials in there. It's the cheapest multi-band vertical I think you can buy today, right? Is it going to motorhome? Yeah, go, no, if you're going to go to motorhome, go get a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah, that's what get you want. A screwdriver. Uh, but not that one. Because then you can use it in your home. You get an extra mount. You put it on a post. You put it in your backyard. You can put it on the car, too. You put it anywhere you want, man. Like, the, what's the Sidewinder? The side, the high Sierra? Sidekick? The Sidekick. Tiny yeah. little antenna. Sidekick. Thank you. Well, the bigger the coil, the higher the Q. The higher the Q, so, the so more bandwidth. So the, the more, well, the more radiation resistance you're going to have. You want radiation resistance. Tell me what I'm <laughs> Well, I mean, a bug catcher would be the best. It's got a you know huge coil yeah. on it, but. Uh, but realistically, for someone who's got to work in a, in a community that's restricted. Yeah. I mean, if you got, I'm thinking the, like the a tar, the Tar Heel antennas are yeah, good. Tar Heel or MFJ's or, uh, antenna, if you. If you want to go on the inexpensive side, MFJ makes a screwdriver that's got a whole kit for like 500 bucks. They're a lot easier to deal with than some of the other manufacturers. Now you could just, I mean, there's antennas, any antenna you want. There's a bunch of, there's a low-cost vertical antenna that, that you can get, I want to say from MFJ as well, which is a double C-stack, and if you have a tuner, it doesn't matter. All you need is something that, that'll be radiating. So, I wouldn't go spending a lot of money to start. Simply, you can put up, you can put up a dipole and work perfectly. Yeah. I don't like that. That's me. I don't like.